Now page four, Congress killing the Trump effect. Nice work, Congress. Good job, 115th, 116th Congress. You are destroying what was a nice trend. It was called the Trump effect. What was the Trump effect? Very simple. After the election of Donald Trump and during the fiscal year 2017, illegal alien activity suddenly dropped. Apprehensions slowed. Attempts to breach our border declined. Reason? The election of Donald Trump. You see, these would-be illegals saw what happened. The pro-open borders candidate Hillary lost, and the strong border security candidate won. Therefore, these potential lawbreakers decided not to chance it with President Trump now in office. They saw a red light. However, then these same would-be illegals began watching Congress. They saw the Republican majority in the 115th Congress fumble away a golden opportunity to work with the president to not only secure the border, but to close giant gaping loopholes in immigration law. The GOP-led Congress under Paul Ryan did virtually nothing, nada. So at that point, the red light changed to yellow. And then the results of the 2018 midterm election putting Nancy Pelosi in charge. That gave these illegals a bright green light to come and violate and or exploit our laws. Thus, the Trump effect is now dead. And the snake senator from New York is its principal murderer. Everyone here knows the truth. The president didn't declare an emergency because there is one. Stop tape. He if, if there is no emergency at the border right now, given the numbers that we are seeing, then exactly what does an emergency look like? We are talking numbers right now, somewhere in the neighborhood of 100,000 illegal aliens or would-be asylum seekers, non-U.S. citizens, violating our southern border per month. 100,000 per month. But the truth is, if the predictions are accurate, that number could swell to 500,000 a month. We don't have the equipment. We don't have the personnel. We don't have the wall to stop those numbers. This is an assault. This is tantamount to an invasion. This is war. And the Congress is not treating it as such. What is it going to take to have the American people wake up? In New York, are you listening? Can you please reach out to this person and all the other Democrats who tell us there is no crisis, there is no emergency at the border, and tell them that there is? What's it going to take? One of your family members, unfortunately, being attacked by one of these illegal immigrants? Is that what it's going to take? For people to pick up the phone or write an email or go to Congress and say, do your job. Roll tape. Declared an emergency because he lost in Congress. Stop tape. The president did not lose in Congress. The president didn't lose. We lost. The American people lost. The family of Kate Steinle lost. The family of Molly Tibbetts lost. The family of Ronell Singh, the police officer that was killed in Northern California, lost. All the victims of illegal immigrants lost, and all the future victims of illegal immigrants lost. The president didn't lose. This wasn't just a campaign promise. This is a real issue with real tangible results if the Congress does not do its fundamental job. And the fundamental job is simple. Secure this republic and the people in it. Yet people like this snake from New York are refusing to do their jobs. Roll tape. Threw another temper tantrum and wanted to go around it. Stop the tape. Temper tantrum. It's interesting because this snake forgets that it was the Congress that conferred the ability on the office of the presidency to do exactly what the president of the United States is doing. This is an emergency. Um, issuing a declaration of emergency like Barack Obama did multiple times, uh, issuing sanctions to a third world country? How is that an emergency?
We have Americans in harm's way right now by this influx of illegal immigrants. That is an emergency. Wake up, people. Wake up. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.